If you clicked on this video, then you've decided to get a divorce or you're already in the process. Either way, I'm gonna share with you my divorce experience in hopes that it will help you as you transition throughout this process for yourself. Hey everybody, Michael A. Benton here, and on this channel, I focus on giving men the tools and the knowledge that they need to help control the lives that they desire. If you're a man looking to better himself, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every week. Trust me, I know all too well the thoughts and the feelings that are running through your mind as you, as you work your way through this divorce because I'm actually at the tail end of it myself. So, you know, I've been married for 11 years now. Uh, we've been separated for about a year. And, you know, we just, we came to the conclusion that our marriage was over, uh, unfortunately. And uh, without getting into depth of, you know, what caused it, um, it was bittersweet. You know, um, it was someone that I, that, I, that I love very dearly and still love. And really the nice thing about my situation that may not be the same for you is that we're still amicable. Um, we still get along very, very well. There are children that are involved in, in the divorce. And so it may be a little bit different situation for what you're dealing with. Um, but what I can say is the same is, again, um, you know, the thoughts and the feelings that you're having um, as you transition uh, from being separated to being fully divorced. One of the things that I think is the most important, or at least one of the most important parts um, to remember as you're going through your divorce is that you should treat it as a, a fresh start or something new. Um, I know that can be very hard to comprehend um, as, as you're going through the divorce because there's so many thoughts and there's so many feelings that um, on both sides, um, but really it's going to help you, trust me, in the long run. Uh, for me, you know, being able to see the situation for what it was, um, regardless if it didn't work out or not, um, this was an opportunity for me to get back to my core. I don't know if you guys have felt the same way that, that I, I did, but you know, through my marriage, I allowed it to really kind of take everything out of me. Um, I, I kind of lost sense of, of who I was as an individual prior to me getting married. And so you know, with the divorce, this became an opportunity for me to get back to my essence, right? So get back to the person um, that I used to be and, and kind of just you know, do the things that I used to do prior to being married and allowing that life to, to take me over, to take it over. So um, treat, treat the situation as something new for yourself. You know, if you had hobbies that you've done before the marriage that you, you know, stopped because of you know, other responsibilities, you know, find this as a, a new means for you to, to get back to it. Um, you know, if you weren't hanging out with friends as much or talking to family as much or traveling or whatever it is that you're into um, or doing or didn't do, you know, treat this as a new opportunity. This was one of the ways that helped me, you know, kind of get out of my head um, as I was going through the divorce. And so, you know, I, I did things like try new foods, right? And I, I spent a lot of time, um, you know, with myself and, and really just kind of reflecting on what had happened, you know, what was my responsibility in the divorce, um, you know, what can I control and, and what I couldn't control. And more importantly, it was, um, you know, as I, you know, as the future comes and I look at getting into another relationship, which maybe years or, or even months down the road from now, for me anyway, um, you know, I can look back and see, okay, where, where are the improvements that I want to make? Um, so that way this situation um, doesn't, doesn't surface again with, with someone else. So uh, again, I, I think it's very important that even though this is a, probably a really rough time for you, um, you know, treat, treat it as something new, something as, as something fresh. And, and, and look at it from a positive perspective because it's, uh, trust me, it's only going to help you um, as you move further and further along in the divorce um, process that you wanna stay as positive um, and as mentally sharp as you possibly can. You know, the second thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about and, and I found that was helpful for me is really just forgiving myself and, and forgiving my ex, you know? Now, for some of you, I don't know your situations, right? And so some of you, maybe you know uh very excited and and um you know the divorce is very appropriate for what had happened in your relationship um but either way right whether it was you know your fault or, or not your fault or whatever side of the fence you're on with the divorce i think it's super important um for yourself right for for some self-growth and some self-healing 
um, is to forgive yourself for whatever responsibilities you may have um, um, you know did in the relationship and then obviously forgiving the other person for whatever actions they did or didn't take um, you know it's just gonna go a long way I mean I find that a lot of guys uh, especially ones that I've talked to that have gone to divorce they're very bitter uh, and especially more so towards their 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 spot their ex-spouse um, for whatever actions they did or didn't do and that only left that person that man you know just again very bitter and you know kind of hated life and had a chip on their shoulder and, and looked at future relationships already in a negative tone just being able to not release those those feelings that they have um you know th those negative feelings that they have for for their for their other partner and so you know really just making sure that you're taking responsibility for uh, again your portion and and forgiving yourself listen not every relationship not every situation is going to be work out the way it should right as we are living proofs of that um i thought our relationship um was something that was going to last um i i, I seen hiccups you know prior in the relationship but um you know i wasn't too shocked that i had led down to this route in, in my particular situation um but at the end of the day regardless of what happened um you know i, I still love the woman we have we have kids together uh, a nine-year-old son um and i have a, a uh, uh an 18 year old stepdaughter too so um regardless of what happened you know it was both of our faults we we allowed the situation to become what it was um neither one of us took the responsibility of trying to do all we could to make it work and so you know there I, for me there's no fault um on any one person you know we both take responsibility for it i forgive her for you know her actions and inactions and and, and vice versa you know it's going to do a lot for your mindset for you to forgive yourself um and to forgive the other person you know uh, again because I, I know for sure that you guys don't want to go through life and, and future relationships again with you know this negative connotation um, and and still having you know remnants of of your previous relationship because your new partner is going to sense that they're going to sense that you you know you have some type of uh, negative feeling towards your other partner because you're probably going to end up slipping and saying things Right. Or you may end up mentioning, um, you know, your 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 ex spouse. Right. So decompress, you know, um, allow the situation to be what it is and 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 do your best to to forgive and, and, and move on um, is, is the best thing that I can tell you. Man, the third thing that I would tell you that was super important uh, or at least I found effective was seeking counsel like and and that can be you know whoever it is that you feel is important in your life that maybe be a some type of male role model or it could be your parents or your best friend or someone else that's gone through a divorce before but i really found it um helpful to reach out to someone in my case i went to go see a counselor uh, or a therapist and uh more so a, a, a divorce therapist and you know just just was able to kind of um you know vent a little bit and kind of give my side of the story and just trying to find understanding as to you know what my role was in the divorce what could I, what could i have done better um or more of and because my biggest thing was that okay if this is over and you know this is this is you know something that we're not going to continue the last thing that i want is to bring whatever issues in this relationship I, I don't want to bring that to a new relationship um, because you know to be honest with you I mean divorce is is pretty shitty um, you know especially when you have kids involved it, it's 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 tough it's um, you know there's again there's a lot of emotions and feelings on, on either side and uh, it's draining like really really mentally draining you know so do everything you can to empty that space within your mind um you know and and obviously in your heart as well um, because it's only going to make the divorce that much more smoother me and my ex we don't have um you know we didn't have any you know bickering about who was going to get what um property or whatever it was very amicable we split it down right down the middle 
Um, more so for us, it was just about making sure that the kids were fully taken care of um, and that, you know, they were, they were you know, safe and um, everything else didn't, didn't really matter. So um, it, 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 it's, it made our divorce uh, and that, that process in between so much more smoother. It was one less thing that I had to worry about because, you know, if, if, if you're not seeking counsel and you have all of these, you know, these pent up emotions and, and feelings towards the other person or the situation itself, you know, that's at some point is going to explode and that's going to lead to a very hard conversation with you and your ex um, which may affect the children and it, it may lead you down a situation that you don't want to be in when it comes to custody battles and child support and, and just all these things so really do yourself a favor and and um, you know seek counsel uh, again to, to to someone that you trust and that way that you can you can vent to and, and, and just, you know, be yourself and not be judged for whatever it is that you're saying. Um, and, and, and within that counsel, you know, I think it's important that, again, you kind of find out, depending on who you're seeing, kind of find out, you know, what what could you have done better? What, what, what do you want to change as you move forward? Because if you, you know, you might not like it at all, but change is coming. Change is already happening in your life. And... Um, you know, at some point you will meet someone else and, um, you know, you don't want whatever issues you're having uh, to deal with in this current relationship to affect the next one. So definitely seek counsel um, and, and get those things that you, you may have pent up on your chest off and um, it, it, it'll lighten the room, man. It'll, it'll lighten you. It'll lighten the load so much and, um, you, you know, you won't, you'll look at things differently and there won't be any as much animosity, uh, particularly depends on your situation um, and what you're dealing with. But um, for the most part, for you as an individual in this in this um, you know in this process, um, it's only going to help you. Listen, I, I truly would like to know. Please put down in the comments what part of this process are you having the most trouble with. Listen, another big part of what helped me, and probably is going to be the hardest part for you as well is the things that you're thinking, the thoughts that you're having as you're going through this process. I can't describe to you how intense your thoughts may get for you um, as they did for me. Um, I remember, you know, separating and me getting my own apartment and, you know, those first couple, of, I would say probably first month um, wasn't too bad mentally, um, but like month two, three, six, nine, like there were so many thoughts running through my head of like, who is she talking to? Does she have a new man now? You know, where does she go when I watch the kids? You know, what, like all these thoughts were just running through my head and it was not helping the situation whatsoever, especially for me. Um, I was always just constantly like, wondering, you know, what, what, where, what is she doing? What's, what's going on? Um, and it just brought up all of these, these, you know, negative thoughts and, and, and emotions. And I, I had nowhere to, to vent to, I, I had nowhere to put these, these answers. I, to these questions, um, that I had in my head. Um, and then it, it made things even more difficult when I would see her to you know drop my son off or stop over at the house and pick up whatever i needed to do um you know when i would see her the only thing i would be thinking is okay who 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 did you talk to last night like you know who who'd you bring home and just all of these things and you know learning to control your thoughts throughout this process is probably going to be one of the most difficult parts of the whole entire thing i kid you not um so if you're someone who I wouldn't say is weak-minded, but as someone who's, um, you know, had issues, you know, kind of, um, you know, dealing with your emotions and your feelings prior to the divorce, I would urge you to, like I told you before, seek counsel, um, someone that you can vent to, because again, your, your mind is going to be running um, if, it, if it isn't already. Um, 
as to what may be, and, 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 it, and it may be nothing. But again, your, your mind doesn't know that. You're, you're just, you know, you have so much time on your hands now, especially if you're separated. You know, you have time on your hands now, and so you're sitting in your apartment by yourself, and uh, what's happening? Thousands and thousands and thousands of thoughts are running through your head, and they're all over the place. Um, and so that's what I found the most troubling. So for me, again, if I wasn't seeking counsel, um, I end up purchasing or I end up hiring, you know, a, a life coach, um, not so much for the divorce stuff that was just part of it. Um, but just to kind of get my life back on track, um, and things I wanted to do. Um, but for me, I, I had to really like change my mindset. I was already a type of person that was into self-development. So I was already reading books and, and all about growth and, and things of that nature. Um, but I, I really had to hone in and focus on, on my thoughts and my mindset and thinking more positive to, positively uh, than, than I had been previously. So, um, you know, your thoughts are what's going to probably drive you up a wall if you allow it to get the best of you. So again, find measures to uh, or find and find avenues to to help you, um, you know, process those thoughts in a more positive manner. Uh, because again, you don't want to be, you know, in a situation where you're by yourself and you know you're you're having you know negative thoughts um, and you're thinking about what what she may be doing or may isn't uh, or what she isn't doing, and uh, you know it's just going to bring unwanted stress onto you. And then that's going to boil over into the conversations um, when you see her, um, and it, it, it will even affect if you if you have children that are involved in the divorce, um, it, it, it's it's going to affect that too because you may find yourself where you're inclined to ask the child, depending on how old they are, what's going on in the household, and that's not right. That's not right, you know. So um, do yourself a favor and, and and alleviate that as much as possible from your situation and I guarantee you your your divorce process although terrible um, can can run a lot better and a lot smoothly for you um, and as it should because again there's gonna be a lot of major changes that you are gonna partake in and you want to be in the best mind frame that you possibly can as you as you move through this process uh, for yourself and for everyone involved right so um, you know I truly hope that was helpful for you guys. I thank you guys so much for clicking on the video and watching. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.